Hello and welcome to Daily Inspirations. I'm Michelle Dawn. Today I'm decorating my Villa Beautiful lined vertical planner using, oh, for the week of September 12th, using Rose Colored Days stickers and I have pulled some Girl Boss Anna tapes. Don't know which ones will match and go well, but I will be using some. I also have from Rose Colored Days again, um, confetti tape and days of the week. And Villa Beautiful washi, plenty thing washi, and we will see how it all comes together or if it all comes together. <laughs> Enjoy. I chose these stickers from Rose Colored Days because I absolutely love them. Um, they're very kind of goth, romantic, um, all things fall. I don't know, it's really, really, really neat. So I also chose this holiday to talk about today because of these stickers. Um, I didn't do it the other way around this time. I, I usually do, I, I pick the holiday first and then I do the spread in honor of the holiday. This time I picked the stickers first and then I picked a holiday to go with them. So September 16th, which is during this week, is National Tattoo Story Day. So I thought I would read to you from nationaltoday.com about National Tattoo Story Day, as well as tell you the stories behind my tattoos. I have two of them. So first, nationaltoday.com. This is what nationaltoday.com has to say about Tattoo Story Day. National Tattoo Story Day is on September 16th, and we are ready to inspire you to get your body inked. Tattoos are an ancient form of body art that has lasted long enough for us to take an interest in and practice it. Did you know that aside from the National Day for Celebrating the Art of Tattooing on July 17th, National Tattoo Story Day has been observed annually since 2015 as a day dedicated to the stories behind our tattoos. Now you know. History of National Tattoo Story Day. National Tattoo Story Day is celebrated annually on September 16th to commemorate the stories that led to our inking. The tattoo train is one a lot of people still get nervous to board making it important to celebrate the courage of the few who broke out of that mental shackle to finally get an engraving of an art on their body. Tattoos are usually also an expression of a person's story, sometimes even a prediction of where they are headed in life. They serve an important part in our cultures across the world and continue to evolve with modern usage. And unlike other art forms, their permanent nature makes them perfect for etching memories and remain dear and indispensable to us. Historically, tattoos can be purely decorative, symbolic, or pictorial depicting a thing or an emotion on a person's body. In the US, tattoos exploded in the 1940s and Norman Keith Collins, AKA Sailor Jerry, played a huge role in establishing what is now known as the American traditional way of tattooing. The Hawaii-based war veteran combined what he learned from the American, European, and Japanese ways of tattooing to establish a whole new style that's now known as the American traditional way of tattooing. Statistic-wise, according to the result of a survey conducted by Statista, as many as 140 million Americans, representing 44% of the people that answered yes when they asked if they had one or more tattoos, have a tattoo. Although it appears that many people have tattoos in the United States, it is still considered an act of rebellion to get one, especially considering that according to the same survey's report, around 3 to 17 million people have a tattoo around their face region, with the teardrop tattoo being one of the most popular tattoos people get. Next on nationaltoday.com, we have National Tattoo Story Day activities. Number one, get a tattoo. That seems to be a, a fairly obvious one. 
considering that getting a tattoo is still regarded as an act of rebellion, getting inked is perhaps the best thing you can do to observe National Tattoo Story Day and break the mental mold that still holds thousands of people back from getting a tattoo. Number two, listen to other people's tattoo stories. Amazing stories are being shared of the event that finally led to people getting inked. Provide a listening ear for those stories online and offline to celebrate National Tattoo Story Day. Number three, use the hashtag National Tattoo Story Day on social media. What better way to celebrate National Tattoo Story Day than to share your tattoo story on social media? Use the hashtag National Tattoo Story Day to contribute to the online discussions that will inspire someone to get a tattoo. Now we have five things you don't know about tattoos. Number one, 40% of Americans have them. More than four in 10 people in the United States have at least one tattoo according to data from Statista. Number two, they are sometimes a turn on. In a dating app study, 18% of women and 14% of men said tattoos are a turn on. Number three, the oldest US tattoo parlor opened in 1927 in Long Beach, California. Number four, most people with tattoos have no regrets. Just 19% of participants in a recent survey said they regretted getting their tattoo, while 81% said they have never had any second thoughts. And number five, Keith Collins invented the American style of tattooing. The Hawaii-based war veteran Norman Keith Collins, AKA Sailor Jerry, invented what is now known as the American traditional way of tattooing which they already mentioned earlier in the article. And lastly, on nationaltoday.com, we have why we love National Tattoo Story Day. Number one, it reminds us of how courageous we are. Overcoming the fear of getting a tattoo is serious. It takes true courage to finally decide to get tattooed, regardless of what your friends or family might think of them. Number two, it allows us to relish our decision to get tattooed. National Tattoo Story Day serves as an avenue for us to relish in the amount of courage it took to get tattooed, either for the first time or in a very visible part of the body. And finally, it motivates us to look back at our journey. Tattoos are usually a pointer to how we were at a particular point in time in the past. So National Tattoo Story Days are days to look back on our progress from a point in time. Now for my very own tattoo stories. I have one on my ankle. It is relatively small, not tiny or anything, but it is not big. And I have one on my back. It's actually about a quarter of my back on the top left like shoulder blade area. The one on my ankle I got done um, in the late 90s in California, in LA. Um, I was living there with my husband. We weren't living in LA. We were living in Fresno, but we went, um, he had to work in LA a few times, so we were there. The story of that tattoo is that it is the comedy tragedy masks for theater because I am very passionate about theater and I love it very, very much, although I can't participate anymore. Um, I can't go to the theater or participate in being a part of theater. I can watch Hamilton <laughs> on TV. Okay, anyway, that's besides the point. My mentor in high school, I, a man I looked up to very, 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 very much, Mr. Joseph Abel. He was my theater director um, and theater teacher in, in school. And uh, he helped me a lot, and um, I wanted to honor him and my passion for theater, and that's why I got that tattoo on my ankle. And then I have a tattoo on my back, like I said. It is um, three flowers, 
I'm going to try to explain it. It's in a, they're in a, like a triangle form. Um, and the Celtic symbol for mother is behind them. And the, and that is a like three, it's like a spiral that comes out from the middle and there's three spirals, a, a top one and two on the bottom, like a triangle, right? So the, each of the flowers is on top of the spiral in the triangle, in the, at the triangle points. The top one is a rose because my husband and I are both born in June and the flower is rose and it is a um, red and yellow rose um, because our wedding colors were red and yellow and also that, that ends up having another meeting. Okay, so then um, on the, the bottom two flowers are my daughter and my son's flowers. My daughter's is a water lily. She was born in July. And my son's is a chrysanthemum. He was born in November. So I have the, the Celtic sign for motherhood behind all of those. I have my husband and I at the top, or my husband and myself at the top, and the two children are the bottom points of the of the tattoo. Trent's is yellow. His favorite color at the time was yellow. Simone's is red. Her favorite color at the time was red. Her, her favorite color is still red. His is lime green now, but also he really still likes yellow a lot. Um, and it, it was so neat that their favorite colors were our wedding colors. I just, that was so really very cool to me. Sean's favorite color is black. So the um, most of the Celtic symbol is black, but the center is blue because that is my favorite color. Um, oh, and hidden in each flower is a spoon because I am a spoonie. And if you don't know anything about spoonie, um, the, spoonie th the spoon theory, excuse me, I'll do my best to explain it right now. Um, short version. I can't remember her name. I think it's Christine something. She came up with this story, Spoon Theory, when she was in college and having a study session, I think, with a friend at a cafe. And um, her friend said, what is it like to live with chronic illness? You know, like, what is it really like? So Christine, I believe, um, went around the restaurant and gathered up all the spoons and said, okay, so when you do not have a chronic illness, it's like you have an unlimited amount of spoons and each thing that you do during the day costs you a spoon. So brushing your teeth, getting out of bed, putting on your clothes, making your breakfast. But if you have basically an unlimited amount of spoons, you you can use them in any way you would like. Um, people with chronic illness have a limited amount of spoons, so we have to choose where we want to spend them um, very carefully. So the the spoon in my in each of the flowers in my tattoos my tattoo is to signify that I will always save a spoon for my husband and each of my kids. Those are my stories. Share yours below in the comments so we can all celebrate National Tattoo Story Day together. I'd love to hear about yours. I love this spread so much. All done. Thank you so much for watching. Do all the things, the likes, the subscribes, and the commenting. I would really, really appreciate it. It always helps um, when you engage with the channel. And I hope you liked this one. I love it. I think it's so pretty. Okay. As always, stay inspired. I'll see you next time. Bye.